The last battle went very well, but the next battle is going to be costly. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. All the Harper's Ferries got good kills and not many casualties. The sniper did well. 24 pound howitzer, that one could have done better, but uh, I didn't need to bring the second 24 pound howitzer. That was uh, probably unnecessary and it didn't participate much in the battle. So, got a second star, that's great. And I'm just short of the second star for that unit. So, certainly next battle we should get the second star there. South Mountain is going to be bloody. And the reason is that um, there is a way to fight South Mountain and not take a lot of casualties. But unfortunately, I'm going to take casualties. So now that medicine is completely done, uh, to 10, I can go to... Um, I, I, can, I can start working on economy. So I, I just showed you the army that uh, I want to build. And 18,735 and 70 guns. And here is the army. So I'm going to go ahead and push these numbers up because, well, the reason this is going to be bloody, I mean, the way to fight this so it's not bloody is just push the enemy off the flag and don't push uh, for, the, the enemy will go to the right side of the map in the woods and, and hover there, kind of uh, dig in. And if you don't dig them out of the woods, you can reduce your casualties. Just hold the flag and defend. And I would do that, except the enemy force pull is getting really high. And I want to push the enemy force. I have to push the enemy force pull down. I'm getting a little concerned. So this is me just increasing the numbers of troops that I have. And the cost is almost nothing. I mean, it's, it's very, very minor. So, yeah, I'm pushing them up to 1,300. I, would, I expect them to bleed down to 12, 1,250 for Antietam. And the reason I think that's going to happen is because this is certainly going to be a bloody battle. So, yeah, I could have put veterans in that unit, for example, but um, they would have been too expensive, so it's not worth it. Yeah, this is the Army uh, Second Corps. You can see the rest of the units. Of course, I'm not going to put any money in those. And this is the Army that's going into the, into the battle. Uh, 18,700. So 18,960. So what I did was I, I uh, dissolved uh, a bunch of ballast units to show you the effect of having the ballast units. So dissolving the ballast units increased the number of troops in the battle. So that was an experiment to show you how that works. 18,007, it went up to 18,009 if I dissolve these guys. So I'm going to build instead of dissolve. And I'm building uh, my artillery batteries are four. 18,753. So, okay. What I'm doing now is I'm moving 20 pound parrots out of my reserve. This is the reserve. I mean, these people are not going to battle. So, all my batteries are eight guns in, in the main army. The four gun batteries are all ballast. So what I'm doing is I'm moving, for a couple of the batteries, I'm going to move 20, I'm going to move 20 pound parrots into the unit. And, I, and so I have four artillery units I'm going to take. I want two of them to be parrots and two of them to be 24 howitzers. And the reason is I want two of them for long range because there's going to be a lot of long range firing. And I want two of them to support the infantry in the attack at short range. So that's how that's going to be. My snipers, I have two units of uh, regular snipers and one of JF Browns. There are going to be a lot of long range shots available. I intend to 
try to lure the enemy into the river in the early part of the game, and then I intend to take shots when the enemy's in the open, and at some point the enemy is just going to back off into the woods. And I don't, I, I still don't know if it's the best idea to go after them, but that's what I decide to do in order to affect the manpower pool. But that is going to be costly. So anyway, stay tuned for the next battle.